Hey, this is Mr. Perez. Charlie, what are you doing over there? Quit fooling around. It's time to get to work. Right there. Simplify the complex fraction. All right, in order to do this problem, we're going to use the lowest common denominator of all four of our fractions to clear our fractions out. Okay, Charlie, what's the lowest common denominator for all four of our fractions? x squared y squared. Very nice. Now notice, we're going to multiply both the numerator and denominator by our LCD, and we're going to distribute to each term. So watch what happens. Here we go. First, we multiply our LCD by 9 over x. We're going to cancel one of the x's out, and we're left with 9xy squared. Next, we'll multiply our LCD to 9 over y, canceling one of the y's out, which leaves us with 9x squared y. Now let's move to our denominator. We'll multiply our LCD to 2 over x squared. This time, we cancel out the x squareds, leaving us with 2y squared. And finally, we multiply our LCD to 2 over y squared, canceling out the y squareds, leaves you with 2x squared. Now, we're not done. Now we have to look for greatest common factors. Now notice here, Charlie, in our numerator, we have a greatest common factor. What is it? Then x y. Very nice. And that leaves us with y subtract x. Now in our denominator here, Charlie, what is our, what is our greatest common factor? 2. That's right. And that leaves us with y squared subtract x squared. And notice here we have the difference of two squares. Remember, the difference of two squares factors into the product of the conjugates. Okay, so let's go up there. Let's write our work in. And now, Charlie, how do we factor y squared subtract x squared? y subtract x times y plus x. Very nice there, Charlie. And notice, our y subtract x's cancel, leaving us with 9xy over 2 times the quantity y plus x, which is equal to 9xy over 2 times the quantity x plus y. And don't forget to circle or box your answer. We'll see you all again soon.